Hey, it's John with Proactive here in Greenville, South Carolina. Today we're going to go ahead and hook up the water supply. Of the three hose reels we have elevated, the one on the far left is going to be the water supply that we hook up to the house. This is a Titan 18 inch reel, but it's got a one inch manifold in it. So the manifold running through the center where the input is, is one inch and the exit is one inch. I'm going to show you how we're going to hook up the valves, the Hudson valves and how we get everything ready. Let me show you what we need. We've got a we've got a stainless steel hose barb on the coming off of the reel. We're then going to connect to a one inch banjo valve. We've put a one inch MPT by one inch hose barb banjo off each of that. We are then going to run to a three way banjo valve that we've got set up. Now, the reason we're doing this is because we are gonna put two inputs into the tank. The reason for that is one of the Hudson valves will be lowered in the tank so that we'll have about a 75 gallon buffer tank. The other Hudson valve will be at the top so we can fill the tank all the way to the 330 gallon mark. And uh, what reason we do that is because when you're getting towards the end of a job, you don't need 330 gallons, or you're doing a small job, or maybe you're only doing a house wash, so you're only running a little bit of water versus running your eight gallon a minute machine with your seven gallon rinse, but you don't need quite a big a buffer tank. That, that causes us not to have to drop, transport or drop 300 gallons at the end of a job. I'll show you that when I get finished configured, but a couple more parts you'll need here to do this. Going into the tank here, We've got a bulkhead. We're using a one inch MPT on the inside. We're also screwing in a one inch banjo valve. Now that's an L, it's an MPT to a hose barb. And one thing I like to say about these is go ahead and spend the extra money for, for the sturdier, bigger valves. Here's an example of a smaller valve that we have purchased before. You can get those for 50 cent versus $1.20 for the other ones. The problem with them is, one, you can't get enough, there's not enough material to grab a hold of the pipe. The other problem is, they're really just cheap. This material will shrink in the winter, it will grow in the summer when it gets hot, and, and you'll start to get air leaks, and then, then you'll get leaks, and you'll spring water leaks. So go ahead, spend the extra 50 cent for this valve, and go ahead and crank it down good. Um, we also have the Hudson valves we're going to put in the tanks. And we've got a few other accessories here. One thing I would like to note on the hose clamps is we use these Cambridge hose clamps. As you can see, they've got a nice wide width to them compared to some other inexpensive cheap ones. The other thing to do is they will grip and bite down and not let go. Whereas these little ones will start to strip out. So I highly recommend going ahead once again, instead of buying the one that's 80 cent, go ahead and buy the one that's $1.15. It will save you a big, big headache in the future. Let me go ahead and get uh, this configured and then we'll show you the finished product. All right, so now we'd like to walk you through uh, the finished product here of our hose reel assembly. So again, we have an 18 inch height Titan hose reel. We have about 200 feet of hose on and this is gonna hook up to the house for our water supply. Um, and this is a one inch manifold coming out of the hose reel. Now let me step up here and show you what we've done here. So this is a one inch steel hose barb that comes out of the manifold. Um, and we've put some pipe compound in there to seal that really nicely. And then this is a one inch uh, uh, metal wire, wire reinforced tube that has been slid on there. Um, and these are crush proof. And the reason that we do that is, you know, as we put ladders or uh, brushes or anything on and off here, we really don't want to compromise the hose that's going to supply the water to our pump and eventually to our tank. Uh, so we do kind of go that extra mile and put that crush proof hose here. And these are just clamped on. Um, and one thing that I will recommend with all of this uh, rubber hosing is to really invest in a heat gun. Um, they don't have to be super expensive, but just something to heat up that hosing, make sure it slides on really easily and slides all the way to the end of the fitting. Um, and then heat up the outside again when we put this hose clamp on. It'll make sure that, that clamps down really nicely. And then as it cools, you'll see the hose kind of contract back around that clamp for a nice seal. Um, and this really helps it keep the seal throughout the different weather and changing temperatures. So after this one inch hose here, we've moved on to a Banjo uh, 80 micron mesh filter. Uh, we're not using a steel filter here. We're not really worried about chemicals or anything because it's just water coming through. 
um, which then we moved on to another one inch hose. And this is where we kind of change things up. We have a uh, one inch um, hose barb to male pipe thread that goes into a banjo three-way valve. And what we've done here is this line is gonna go down to a Hudson valve that's almost at the bottom of the tank. It's gonna give us about 100 to 75 to 100 gallon uh, buffer tank to use for smaller jobs or uh, just when we don't need that much, maybe we're finishing up at the end of the day or if we're just doing a house wash. Now this other one over here um, goes right to the top so we can get a full tank, our full 330 gallon tank if we're working all day and stuff like that. And we can just flip this switch and switch between the two. Now another thing I'll point out, we uh, come out of this three-way valve with uh, pipe thread to hose barb, just little elbow valves. Um, all of these that go into banjo products we found, we also like to use the banjo valves. Uh, they fit the threading a lot better and it just gives you that tighter seal even with the pipe compound in there to make sure that it's sealed nicely. It makes a world of difference, prevents leaking and stuff like that, definitely worth the investment. Um, and then this just goes into a one inch bulkhead on the back end on both sides that run down into our tank um, to fit on those Hudson valves that we've already showed you. So this is uh, Logan Saunders with Proactive Power Washing here in Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, please comment if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us.